Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another week of the Clubhouse Games Golden Goblet. Trackmania is in the books for now. It will return, I'm sure, in some capacity, because analytically it would be just a terrible decision for it not to, plus we all love recording it. I've, uh, I've shaved off my Trackmania beard after such an incredible performance. Really, I needed the beard because the beard creates more drag when you're driving, which slows me down, which gave Malf and Dan a chance to pick up a, you know, a couple of decent medals. But uh, it's just in the interest of fairness. You know, I wasn't trying to embarrass anybody. Whether or not I succeeded on that goal, <laughs> it's up to you. Anyway, um, we're, we're back with Clubhouse. Today, Monday. Let, let me give you the, the happenings here, okay? Monday, Yacht Dice. Not to be confused with Yahtzee. Two very different games. We're going up against Zelda. Fresh off of the rescue of uh, Princess Link. Tuesday, we don't know what we're doing yet. Because the suggestion was blackjack, and I said no because I think it sucks. Wednesday, bowling. Thursday, we don't know. Friday, mahjong. Saturday, darts. And Sunday, hex. I'm ready for that. I'm hoping we can fit in maybe a little backgammon, or a little gomoku, or a little renegade, or a little six-ball puzzle. So I'll level with you. I think yacht dice... It's a fun game, don't get me wrong. It is essentially... It's close to 100% luck. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say it's literally 100% luck, but it's pretty close. By the way, I'm going to cover... I'm not covering any of the score, but I am covering a little bit of the scorecard. I guess when the when the thing comes back, I am covered. Just, just work with it. You know how the scoring works. Or you don't, in which case you don't need to know. Alright, I rolled a full house immediately, but it's a terrible full house. We're going to go back for twos. It's very important... You get the bonus up top, if possible. The bonus up top requires uh, 63 points. That's fine. Um, to get 63 points, you can run the numbers yourself. You have to get uh, three minimum of each. Now, the thing is, you could get two ones and then get four fives. And obviously, that makes for a larger, uh, that makes for a larger difference. But you'll see. We'll see how this goes. I will say I'm surprised... Uh, that's a, that's a decent full house. She'll probably take it. Um, I'm surprised to see her go for choice so early. Choice is usually um, where you put a roll that doesn't go well into anything. kind of think three fives is like is good enough to go in your five section. Okay, I mean, this is another good full house. But if you get the chance to get a big six roll, you got to take it, in my opinion. Full house is not that hard to roll. Come on. Just one more six would be would be huge. That's not really the way I meant it. Um, we're going to put that into sixes. It's fine. Just to have something good in sixes is... Or something good enough in sixes is okay. So I'm losing right now, but you can't really know the score until much later in the game. Zelda on turn three of twelve. She's going to be rolling for fours. She's looking for four. Four of a kind... Yacht, of course, which is uh, five of a kind. So she's got what she's looking for here. It's a safe roll. It doesn't matter really what she gets. She's going to be happy to put that into fours. And uh, we're all screwing up our final roll here. It's, that Ain't that the truth? What are you doing here? Zelda, what are you doing? That's a good choice. I, I would recommend it. Okay. Um, we don't need a big roll. To get something on the bottom of the card would be real nice here. Three, three, four, four. I'm, I'm feeling good about threes today. Let, let's let threes do their magic. <laughs> I'm not saying I told us so, but I did it. I told us so. All right, you know what? That's not a good full house, but I don't want to catch myself in a position later where we're like, well, it's an okay full house. I mean, the maximum full house score is like 28, but at the same time, you can't judge everything by its maximum. Like, it's probably... It's just as hard to roll... Actually, it's much easier to roll five of anything than it is to roll three sixes and two fives deliberately, I think. I'm not gonna run the numbers on that, but, but the probabilistic part of my brain is like, yeah, that seems like it makes sense. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is a spicy roll. Ooh, what are you gonna do? That's, that's a break for me. That's good stuff. 
They're putting it into ones, which is an advanced level technique. We are not going up against a slouch. This is a dangerous one. Um, personally, I would hold my one. We don't have any great plays here. We already just got threes a second ago. So even just to get, I mean, three ones would be solid. Because then we wouldn't have to make up any time. Yo, oh, there you! That's fine. That's fine. We, we can still make it work. We need to get four threes or four fours. We could have put that into choice, but it, it ain't worth it for that, in my opinion. It ain't worth it, in my opinion. By the way, I'm a little uh, nervous is not the right word, because we're playing Yahtzee. Not really that skill-dependent, but there will, there will be choices where people will differ. But I, I actually prefer the pure skill games in Clubhouse games, because I feel like the average player's age is, like, in the single digits. So a game that is pretty much 100% dependent on luck uh, actually puts us on an even playing field, whereas most of the time we play, like, you know, chess or something along those lines, I feel like we're, uh, we, we maybe have an advantage, because at least my mental age is uh, in the high teenage years. So two for twos is really bad for Zelda here. If we get some decent rolls, we could really start to start to pull away here. I mean, you could fish for uh, four sixes, or you could try for a small straight, or you could try for a large straight. This is a tough one. Generally speaking, I mean, we still have our choice available. I would fish for maybe four of a kind, which is a big roll that you don't always get. Okay, so we're not going to get that. Um, I, would, I would say you keep this. Maybe you'll get lucky, and you probably just put this into choice. Yeah, we'll, we'll just shove that one into choice here, which is not optimum, but that's okay. We also could have X'd out our yacht, which is maybe, like, from a game theory standpoint, the best option, but is also the least fun, for sure. Okay, Zelda, I'm begging you, no fives, please. No fives. That's beautiful. I love to see it. Now, you're still going to have a good roll for fives, but you kind of need four in order to make up for your earlier... Uh, problems in the scorecard so it's looking real unlikely she's gonna get that bonus to be honest it's looking real unlikely well it's looking slightly unlikely that i'll get the bonus <laughs> wait a minute i didn't take threes what was i thinking okay so i think you take two four five um we had this discussion earlier is one two four five better a according to my chance probabilistic analysis it isn't we're, we're looking like we're going to have to X out our yacht here. Because this is... Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not looking for large straight. It, we can still get it, but l give me give me small straight, please. Give me a three. Bro. Okay, we're going to X out our yacht. That's just... That's strats. That hurts. And I feel like in the pit of my stomach, I'm like, I think we made a probabilistically bad play. So you're going sixes. There's no doubt about it. Three sixes or less would be a dream come true. They would need to get a yacht of threes to get the bonus. Okay, that's what you love to see. It's going to be a low-scoring yacht dice game. <laughs> Is my uh, That's my hunt trade here. Oh, just one three or less. Or one six or less. One six or less. Beautiful. Okay, I mean, what are you, you're probably going to X out the yacht then. Or, or four of a kind? Or the large straight? Or the... Yeah. So, I mean, we're keeping pace with each other. It's a very defensive yacht dice game. You don't see this happening too much. We gotta go threes. Well, we actually we could go straight on this one, but threes have a better yield. Okay, three threes <clears throat> is good enough. Four puts us on pace to get back into bonus territory. Let's go! So this is a, a very common choice in this game. Four of a kind is not worth as much in my opinion. I would rather zero it out if we have to later in order to keep us on pace for the bonus. What are, you, what are you doing here? Probably threes? No, going for the straight. Okay. Two, three, five, six. Fishing for a specific four. A specific four. That is a five. I got a feeling that if Zelda doesn't get this, we might be in rage quit territory, so be very careful. A two. What are you going to do, Zelda? You going to give up on the bonus, or are you going to X out your large straight? Or your small straight, I guess. 
Yikes. Uh, th this is... <laughs> it's not their fault. Sorry, I stopped recording midway through the episode because I hit the space bar. That's my mistake. I mean, I gotta be honest on this. I think you go for a straight of any kind. We just need a four. A four and a five would be super sweet, though. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back. A dinosaur's story. It's very scary for me. It's very scary indeed. Why? That's not fair. You know, come on. Oh, it's because you already X'd out the large straight. All right, all right. So we're still, we're still in sort of close here. It's kind of a similar situation, you know? We could go for four of a kind. Um, I, I guess I'd rather go for four of a kind just because it's higher percentage than getting that large straight. Obviously, the points are, are not great. And if we have to X our large straight or four of a kind, we, no problem. Rap. Okay. <laughs> It, it might look like I'm ahead, but it's actually pretty close. So sixes are still a problem for me here. Oh, they're going for threes. This is the, the first time I might deviate. Three threes is not going to be good enough. Four threes is, is going to give them a chance to get back in. They're not going to take four of a kind. You know how this is going. So they need to get four sixes in order to get the bonus. That's dangerous. We, we have no choice, really. We need to go fives. We're looking for at least three fives, so one more five would be a dream come true. Don't, don't do this to me, okay? Don't do this to me. I'm begging you. They've done it to me. It's gotta be, I mean, there's, there's no better play. Four fours will still do it for us, but that is a devastating blow. I would actually say Zelda's probably ahead. They have sixes left. I have fours left. Um, so we want to see as few sixes as possible. Not even just less than the bonus amount. But if we could just get you to... Oh, they're, they're not even going to go for it. They're going to go for four of a kind. No fours would be beautiful. I'm, I'm seeing my life flash before my eyes in the world's, game, world's worst game of Yacht Dice right now. Oh... Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Now, if we could just get four fours, it would be incredible. One four. At least we're, we're picking the same thing no matter what. Three fours. I'm begging you. Four in the comments, please. Four in the comments. Bro. Now, this is a very tough decision. I think we take our guaranteed points and accept that we don't get a bonus. Mostly due to that bad fives roll where we got pinched. In order for this to work, though, we need to get the points for four of a kind, I think. Let's see. I mean, if, if they roll less than three sixes, we don't have to worry about it. If they roll another six, it's already over. Oh, there's nothing I can do. Don't do it. You see, they, they put a... Ay, 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 ay. That's terrible news, dude. 162. No, nothing we do can get there. Congratulations, Zelda. From, from the jaws of... Defeat, you have snatched victory in day one of Clubhouse Games. Very disappointing. I can't deny it, but again... That... that Lack of a five up there at the top crushed me. I have never seen a more cursed scorecard out of both of us. I got strictly beaten. <laughs> With so many zeros. Anyway, that's day one of Clubhouse Games. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, go to goldengoblet.net. Watch Dan and Mouse Perspectives. Hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. See ya! I gotta click the button. See ya!